Innovation isn't what innovators do, it's what customers adopt. Traditionally, what innovators do is provide the platform and customers get value from use. Now, you have to design the platform so that you can get value from customers' use. How do you learn from your customers is every bit as important in this millennium as how do we give customers value was important in the last millennium. There really has never been a better time in the history of the world to be an individual entrepreneur or a small to medium sized enterprise because, because the cost of exploring, the cost of innovating has declined, has plummeted and continues to decline and continues to plummet. Remember, the, Peter Drucker once said that the most important, that the, the purpose of business is to create a customer. Now admittedly a small business isn't necessarily going to have millions and millions of customers. If it had millions and millions of customers, it wouldn't be quote unquote, a small business. What these technologies allow you to do is segment and customize and identify the kind of customers and clients you want to have. And what the internet does is it allows you, if you wish to, to service those kinds of customers, not just locally, but globally. So the real question emerges is, what kind of an entrepreneur do you want to be? Because the technology allows you to customize cost-effectively the kind of entrepreneur you want to be. All of these companies had a vision, but the vision changed, the vision evolved as they interacted with their customers, as they discovered how their customers and their clients actually used their products, actually used their services. And that's, and I think that's really key. I think companies like Microsoft and Google understand these things that have used the web, that have used technology, not just to come up with bigger and better or clever ideas, but they've used the technology to observe their customers, observe their clients, observe their users in more innovative and more clever ways. So I think what these technologies have done is changed not just the cost of learning, but the bandwidth of learning, and not just learning, but acting upon that learning by coming up with a new prototype, a new model, a new simulation, a new experiment. What's happening is that there are now more choices. More people have more choices. The question becomes, how do we make it easier for customers and less expensive for customers and less risky for customers to take a chance, to explore a choice? How expensive is it to use Google? How time consuming is it to use Google? The answer is not expensive at all. It's very fast. It's inexpensive to take a chance. When we look at our successful products, our successful services, what kind of customers have selected themselves to play with us, to deal with us? Do we like those people? Do we like those companies? Do those companies reflect the values that we are seeking to serve? Those are the kinds of issues that I think companies are going to continually deal with. Our style of innovation may lend itself to people who are over the age of 65 or 70 all over the world, or it may lend itself to children all over the world, or it may lend itself to people who are very, very, very risk averse, or it may lend itself to people who are very, very experimental and playful. The, the, the notion is that the cost of segmentation, the cost of identifying who we wish to serve as customers, I think is a big deal. I think that matters a lot. So we don't just need to think about innovation in products and services. We need to think about innovations in business models. And that's going to be a real challenge and again, a real opportunity for the entrepreneurs and small to medium sized businesses. 50 years ago, the question that everybody asked was, how do we get bigger? 20 years ago was, how do we get better? Now the question is going to be, how do we align what we're good at and what we want to be good at with what our customers want and what our customers want us to be good at? And that's a different question and it means that we hire, train, educate and manage people and lead people differently.